Russ Paul Morning Show doctor. Yeah, I call her that. Dr. Melissa Clark. She's a leading voice discussing COVID-19 effects in the African-American community. She is the uh, host of Real Talk with Dr. Melissa Clark every Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern on Facebook Live. Harvard educated healthcare leader. She's everything. Good morning, Dr. Clark. How you doing? Good morning, Russ. How are you? Just fine. I wanted to give everybody an update. Um, uh, Governor Cuomo said he was just shocked that uh, new cases are coming up and people who have stayed at home. How does that make sense? Well, you know, that was very concerning to read that headline because there is actually really no reason for shock. And I don't want people to take that to mean that staying at home is dangerous. What's happening is when people live with someone, even if, they're sta- if they themselves are staying at home, if their loved one is a frontline worker or is going out, for example, and, and maybe being irresponsible, they might be bringing the virus back home to the person who's following all the rules and staying at home. And that's why I've said from the very beginning, it's super important, especially now that we're opening back up, mm-hmm. to practice the behaviors and stay at home if you don't need to go out. Practice physical distancing, wash your hands, don't touch your face, wear a yeah. mask, and very importantly, don't let people in your house who don't live there. One scary thing that uh, I've noticed that they're showing these symptoms of in children, because we thought, you know, children were spared before, and that's uh, not the case. Uh, in New York, they said that dozens of children are coming down with COVID. Yeah, as of yesterday, statewide, there were about 93 cases and unfortunately, five deaths. Uh, this has also been reported in other countries as well. They're seeing children aged about 2 to 15 have these symptoms of high fever, rash, uh, what's called a strawberry tongue. It's very red with little indentations, just like a strawberry. And um, GI symptoms like stomach pain, diarrhea, respiratory symptoms, not so much, but sometimes are present. And it's not to make people panic, but it's important to know to look for those symptoms. And if your child especially is having a high fever that's not going away, accompanied by one or two of these other grouping of symptoms, Mm -hmm. you should definitely call your pediatrician or have your child evaluated by a doctor. Now, this pandemic video, um, is it propaganda? It's propaganda. Um, You know, it, If you see a video on YouTube and it's not backed up in the medical literature or by any other source that you can fact check, you really have to take it with a grain of salt. I think the person who's presented as a medical expert in this, for example, she says she worked to help make the Ebola virus infect humans. Well, that was in 1999, but Ebola has been around since 1976. Mm. Another example, she says that there are no viruses no vaccines against RNA viruses, a certain kind of virus, but that's not true. Rabies, measles, polio are all RNA viruses. And most concerning, I think she it incites fear by making it seem like doctors are putting people on ventilators needlessly mm-hmm. and for money, and that is absolutely not true. Um, and I think it feeds into that fear that keeps people from going into the, going to the hospital to get help. And absolutely, if you are concerned about the symptoms of COVID-19, you should seek out medical care. All right, I got a minute here. Um, there are some new, I've been, you know, I'll follow this stuff every day. There are some new treatments, uh, some promising treatments of these uh, cocktails that they're putting together that are showing amazing results. Have you heard about those? Yes, um, those uh, are showing uh, great results, but As with any new treatment, I think it's important to make sure that all the medical literature and all the research is done in large numbers of people before we um, before we jump to conclusions. We saw with hydroxychloroquine how that turned out, Uh, remdesivir a better, a little bit better. But again, we need to make sure that all the data is in. Right, Uh, because I think there's a lot of people are starting to figure out that it's going to be a minute before we get a vaccine. So we're going to need some treatment because Fauci says we're going to need more than one vaccine uh, in order to resolve this issue. And I know there's right. about 40 of them in planning and stages right now. Correct. And also one thing that's very promising is 
blood thinners are actually showing to save lives. So people mm-hmm. being started immediately when they get admitted to the hospital on blood thinners has mm-hmm. really been shown to decrease the death rate. Even though they don't have blood clots, they start giving it to them? Is that what it is? Well, blood clots are very difficult to diagnose. Gotcha. Um, so, uh, and, and oftentimes people that go into the hospital just because they're going to be immobilized for a long period of time, they're mm-hmm. given blood thinners as a precautionary measure. Right. Dr. Melissa Clark, I got to go. I really appreciate your information. She joins us every Tuesday. And, of course, you guys can check her out. Uh, Real Talk with Dr. Melissa every Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern on Facebook, Facebook Live and Instagram. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you again next week. All right. Thanks, Russ. All right. Bye-bye.